In this video, we're going to talk about integer division and the modulo operator. So typically when you're doing math, you'll see the division operator written like this, where 15 divided by 5 is 3, 24 divided by 4 would be 6. In code, instead of the division sign, we would use the forward slash. So here is some example code, and you can see we are printing out 15 divided by 5. Notice I am putting those operations in parentheses to be sure that gets done before it prints out. With division, it doesn't make a difference, but it would if we were using addition because it would get treated as concatenation. And I typically like to do things consistently, so that's why you see that. If I run this, you can see we get the results that we would expect. Now, in both of these cases, the result, the quotient of the division, is an integer, a whole number. But what if you have a case like this, where we have 15 divided by 6, 24 divided by 5, in both cases we get decimal answers. So let's try that. I'll make a copy of our previous operations, and I'll change this to 6, and I'll change this to 5. And if we run this, and you can see I forgot to change these numbers to reflect what's in the output. So now I've changed the operation we're doing to the same as the string. Let me rerun this again. Just a warning, that's a really easy mistake to make, where you print something and then do that thing, but you're not doing the same thing that you're saying you are when you print, which makes your output look wrong. So now as we correct this, 15 divided by 6 is 2, 24 divided by 5 is 4. And of course, we know that those aren't true. And the reason for this is that we're actually doing integer division here. These decimals can't be represented in an integer data type. So what happens is that whatever that decimal part is, it gets truncated, it gets erased, and we just leave the integer part. So if you recall from when you were learning to do division, you would wind up with a quotient and then also a remainder. So here we have 15 divided by 6 is 2 remainder of 3, 24 divided by 5 is 4 remainder of 4. Now notice all of these results are now integers. We're not dealing with decimals anymore, even though mathematically we're talking about the same concept. Well, in most programming languages, including Java, including C and others, we can do integer division in our code where we do something similar to getting a quotient and a remainder, but it's two operations. The first, integer division, gives us the quotient, and then we have a special operation called modulo, which gives us the remainder. Now, the modulo operator is the percent sign, and that says find the remainder of dividing 15 by 6, and of course that's 3. So if we go back to our code, and I'll duplicate the lines, but now I'll use the modulo operator, and if I run this, you can see that you get the results you would expect. 2 remainder of 3, 4 remainder of 4. And just a few things to keep in mind, if you modulo something by itself, you're going to get zero. Or if you take a multiple and do a modulo, you will also get zero, because again, that divides evenly and you get no remainder. So that means you can use the modulo operator to test to see if something is a multiple of something else. Another question that will often come up is how would we actually get a decimal answer? And the answer there is that you make one of the operands a floating point type. And so now if I do that, Notice now it's not integers I'm dividing, but I have a floating point number here, or double, and now you can see that I get the result that I would expect. Which of these is better? It just depends. It's something to be aware of when you're writing your code. Sometimes inner division is good and is useful. Other times you want a more exact answer. In that case, you would want to use the floating point type like a float or a double. But the key is to be aware of what you're doing because you can run into really difficult bugs to find if you, for example, use integer division and assign that to a double. This is something you want to keep in mind because if you do use integer division, you can sometimes lose precision, although in some cases that's acceptable. And again, it's just a matter of being aware of what it is that you're trying to do. So that's a quick introduction to integer division in programming languages such as Java and C.